Hi, my name is Brandon. I was wondering if you guys are still available for an issue that I'm having tonight. What kind of issues are you having? Well, I was looking outside before, and on, like, my little railing, there always seems to be, like, this cat that's, like, always sitting on the railing, and it's not mine, and I'm, like, I, I'm, I don't do cats, so um, I didn't want to, like, go near it or touch it or, like, shoo it or anything, so I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do to it. It's, just, it's been sitting there for over an hour. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're... We're not animal control. We're a private um, trapping mm -hmm. company. Yeah, because um, you're like the fourth number I've called. A lot of other places are closed, and I was just wondering if you can like maybe give me some tips or something on like how to how to get it away. I tried tapping on the window, and it's like hissing at me. So I'm staying in here. I'm not going near it. <laughs> um, well, they're scared away. Uh, they don't like water. Okay, but I, I would have to go near it. You know, I don't, I'm trying to, like, maybe I could scare it from inside the house. Maybe, like, throw water out the window, maybe? At the window? Yeah. Okay. Try that. Okay, I'll try that. And should I, um, I don't know, do they get scared by loud noises? Um, sometimes. Because I, um, I have a dog, but she's just laying here. She's not doing anything. She's just kind of laying. She's so <laughs> cute, though. And, um, and, and, and it's Friday the 13th, cleaners. too. It's Friday the 13th, too. They don't like vacuum too. cleaners. They don't like, the dogs don't, I know. Um, but, and it's Friday the 13th, too, and I thought that was very ironic and creepy that um, Friday the 13th and there's a black cat outside. I'm not superstitious, but that's just very, that's just very not cool. Yeah. So, yeah. so I mean, be, besides me throwing water at it and, like, ruining my TV that's near it, what else, what else can I do? Should I? Try a vacuum cleaner. They that, don't like vacuum cleaners. But that's going to that's gonna scare my puppy. Oh. Yeah. Um, I'm knocking. Boo! Boo! Hey! Go away! It's just, it's just looking at me. It's ridiculous. It's not even mine. I don't even know anybody with a cat. Huh. Strange. And you don't do, you don't do removal? Like, you can't come here and um, get it away or something? I mean, I don't know what you would do with it, but... Would you guys specialize in, like, raccoons and stuff? Yeah, I mean, we do feral cat trapping. Um, it doesn't have a collar on or anything. No, no, I, I can't. I can't really see from here. I mean, I used, I tried using a flashlight and stuff, but it just kept looking at the flashlight, and its eyes got all weird. So, um, uh, from the looks of it, though, I couldn't really see a collar around his neck. So I'm just like, go away, boo! You go away, you cat! Go away! Come on, go! Nobody likes you, boo! Boo. 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 It's not. It's not doing anything. <laughs> okay. Um. Well, if you want, I can have a trapper call you. A uh, who? A tra One of my trappers. Okay. How how long? Well, one. How long is that going to take? And two. Um. Like, how much do you guys cost to do this? Because this is not mine. I don't want to pay like a bajillion dollars for something that's not mine. Um. Uh, he'd be able to give you a price. I'll just have him call you, and you can tell yeah. him the situation. And, and how um, long? Um, how long do they usually take to respond? Because, like I said, you're the first person I got on the phone, and I've been calling like four different places. I've been texting my friend, and he's been like, "Try this place. Try this place." I don't even know if he knows what he's talking about, but you answered, so maybe he does. Okay. How big? Um, uh, how big do cats get? Yeah. How big do cats get? Cause I, I don't I'm, I don't like cats I'm like kind of allergic so this one's this one seems pretty large or is it like kind of like a dog do they get the same size as doggies? A uh, small smaller dog yeah. Cause I have a um I have a, a black lab and um it's medium sized ish and this cat seems a little bigger than that. Oh wow! Yeah, it could be different kind of cat then. What kind of what kind of with. cat? Um are, well. Are you thinking like a panther? No, don't have panthers mm -hmm. <laughs> in California. Right. Because um, I, I don't. I, I I know that there's panthers, there's tigers, and there's zebras. But that zebra's not a cat. I don't think. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Here, let, I'll let you talk to a trapper once. Hang on, just a second. You're transferring me. Okay. Hi, this is Mike. Hi, Mike. My name is Brandon. You're a trapper. Yep. Okay. Um. I was wondering how much you guys usually charge for, like, trappings. Where exactly are you? Right now, right now I'm in L.A. 
that's where you want us to do the job? Well, it's at my house, so I'm not Is sure. Your house in LA? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so and I was wondering how much after? you guys charge for like a trapping. What is it we're trapping? Well, I'm looking outside, and it seems like, at first I thought it was a little kitty cat, and I don't do cats, I'm allergic, so I've been trying to shoo it away for about an hour, and I called my neighbors and stuff, and none of them have cats, so, um, I don't, I don't do cats at all, there, there are a lot of things I don't do, women and cats, I don't, I don't do either of them. Okay, well, the guy, uh, coming out there would be setting up for roughly, um, 150 or less. Okay. Right. The uh, you call in the catch, uh, we pick them up for mm -hmm. somewhere in the neighborhood of fifty bucks. Mm -hmm. An animal. Uh, do you have a fence around your property? No, no. See, okay. it, th th that's funny you should say that because I called my mom and told her about it, and she's been telling me for I don't know how long to get a fence, and she's been like, Brandon, I'm always telling you to get a fence. I'm like, Mom, I know, but I haven't. So it this one's okay. my fault. No biggie. Um, you're not feeding anything out there, are you? No, I haven't gone outside. The nice lady before on the phone was um, saying, like, you know, maybe throw water at the window. I've been knocking on 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 the little on the little side panel thing and trying to shoo it. So I was wondering, like, if you guys had any other tips, because I mean, it's just and I don't know, I don't know what to do. I'm home all by myself too. <clears throat> and um, the cat's not going anywhere. Huh? No, it's been there for about an hour. I mean, because I've I've been do I've been doing one of these. I've been like that, and then I've been like. Boo! Go away! Sss, sss. And it's not doing it. It's just looking at me. Doesn't Pro work. Probably finds well, me amazing. Um, you know, uh, should I like knock on the window? Do you think maybe that'll scare it? Like, I don't. I don't think so. And how? Um. Gonna... See, the lady said before that it could be a different kind of cat because I I said uh -huh. it's a pretty large cat because I have a black lab and it's full grown and this cat cat looks like a little like the same size as that. It looks like. And I can't get too close to the window because it's scary. And she said it might be a different kind of cat. So what do you think it is? Well, describe them to me. Is there a long tail or a short tail? Um, compared to my doggy, it's probably like the same size and it's a big black thing cat. Pretty sure. He's 100% black. There's no spots on him? Um, from, I'm tr I don't want to get too close to the window, but when I used a flashlight before... um. There, there was, it looked like it was all black, and it, when I moved the flashlight near it, it had, like, yellow eyes and stuff. Well, yeah, they're going to have yellow eyes. Mm -hmm. um, well, I, I don't know anything so about kitties, so I didn't know there. if that helps. I didn't know if that helped. I was just trying to be helpful. Uh, but um, if there's no uh, distinct uh, spots on the side, mm -hmm. I think we can probably say there, there's such a thing as ground shrinkage when... Uh, it's it's a term that hunters use when they think they shot a big monster buck, uh -huh. and then when they walk up to the body laying on the ground, it's really not as big as it was. Uh -huh. um, you have expressed that you have a uh, a dislike for cats; uh -huh. they bother you. Yep, and uh, he maybe looks bigger than he is. Probably. Um, I'm also really really scared too. So I don't mm -hmm. I don't know if that helps, yeah. but I've been trying yeah, to compare probably, it to my dog. He's probably not as big as your black lab. Uh huh. And uh, actually, I've I've had people call me where they were following me and they read my my bumper. You know, they got my phone number off my bumper and they I had already seen this black cat in the middle of a field. And the field was about um, maybe fifty yards long, and it was in the middle of it. And they called the number on the back of my truck and said, did you see the black bear in the middle of that field that's 500 yards long? I said, no, that's not a 300-pound bear. That's a 10-pound cat. And that field is only 50 yards long, not 500 yards long. And, um, you know, so it was, it was a cat, not a bear. So there is, there is another example of ground shrinkage. Um, and I thought it was weird, too, how it's Friday the 13th, and there was, like, this this black big cat outside outside my door. I'm, I'm not superstitious, but it was, um, it's it's kind of weird. Well, it always pays to be careful. Yeah, and that's no, why I'm not going not anywhere near it. Because the last time, the last time I had an encounter with a cat, it attacked me, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to go anywhere near it, any more cats after that. Well, that makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. So, how much longer would how how long would it take to get somebody here? 
from your guys' place. Because I was telling well, the lady before, I've well, been calling I've been in? calling people for like the uh, fourth person I called, and I got a bunch of messages and stuff. So you guys were the first people I got a hold of. So I don't, I don't, I want help. I might be able to get somebody there tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Let me, uh, do you have like basic information? Do you have like any other? There? Do you have any other tactics to maybe like shoo it away so I don't have to pay all that money to get some cat that I don't know away? Have you got a water hose outside? You're gonna have to probably get outside to um, shoo him out of there. Its face is right against the window. It's really scary. It's just like looking inside at me. Do you think maybe he's if I looking, smack he's my... He's looking through your sliding glass door? It's a window. There's like, um, there's a little porch uh, out my front, and then there's a window, and there's like a little ledge outside. So it's like on the ledge, kind of like looking looking in the window. So maybe I should like smack the window. Is it your kitchen window? No, out the front. Okay. But it looks, it, um, it would look like your typical kitchen window, I guess, just so you could imagine it. So the face is right there, so I was thinking maybe if I took a broom or... Something and like smack the window, it'll like scare, scare it away. Can you open the window? Is there a screen on the other side of that window? I, I, I believe so, yeah. So you think I should open it? And what do you think I should do after I open it? Here's, I kind of want to be quick. Here's what you should do. Get a, um, and I, I don't suppose you have an air horn laying around that, you know, you have at parties where you just got compressed air and you, you pop it and it sounds like a, uh, my friend yeah, Stu Stone has an air horn, like those things that go like, eh, eh, like that. Yeah. I don't have yeah, one. You don't have one in the house. Huh? No, but Stu has one. I could call him. Well, then he's going to be outside with a cat, too. Yeah, that's not good. I don't want him outside with what with, with, with looks like a cat. Is he afraid of cats? Is he afraid? I don't know. He's Jewish, so. I, I don't think it's a religious thing. Um, he, he may be... Uh, very cat friendly and he can come over with the air horn or just chase him away with the broom yeah so i mean i i'll have to call him i don't know where he is but um i'm well, just I'm, here's another thing you can do if you can open that window and there's a screen on the other side of it you can get a water bottle and you know like the pump sprayers uh-huh and spray the cat in the face with some water they hate it hmm but then wouldn't it attack me no, he'll run the other way as fast as he can go. Okay. Well, let me try and uh, let me try and get near the window. With I'll get I'll get a glass of water and see if it uh, if it comes or I mean goes. I don't want it to come. I want it to go. That's what I want it to do. I would spray them if, if you can. I'd spray them. You know, there's there's a little bit better effect when you spray them. Okay. Well, here's what I, I'm gonna. I have you on speaker, but I'm just gonna put the phone down really quick because I don't want to wet my phone. I just got it. It's brand new. And I'll tell okay. you if it works or not. And if it doesn't work, then I'll have you send somebody to get me. We'll get him, not get me. <laughs> yeah, so, so hold on. He's probably not going to attack you. No, I, I, I just, I don't like cats. There's, there are two things I fear in life. My mom and cats. Even though my mom can be very nice, I, she scares me sometimes. Well, that's the way it is sometimes. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to, should, should I just get like a, do you think I should get like a glass, like a drinking glass or a bucket? No, I, I think you should use a spray bottle. A spray bottle? Look like, underneath, look underneath your cup, your kitchen sink. Okay. Like, like when I use, when I do my hair and stuff? Yeah. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, yeah, I got one of those. Okay. Make sure it's water, nothing that's really going to hurt the cat. You don't want to hurt them. No, no, I don't. Okay, so, um, um, hold on, it's my phone. No, I, I texted Stu, Stu about it. He said he doesn't like cats, so that's not going to work. Um, okay, so it is with water. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Don't be afraid now. You can so, get them. So, so, so you just want me to, like, slide the window open and, and shoot, shoot them? Squirt them in the head. In the head? Okay, shoot if it's facing me, should I go for the face? Anywhere in the head is fine. Okie dokies. Okay, well, I'm, I'm putting the phone, like, right right on my now, table. Now, now, here's something that I, you need to understand, okay? Mm -hmm. You're higher on the food chain than he is. Right. Right. Okay? If you wanted to, he could be your cat. You'd be the master. Right? 
Okay. I don't want that, though. I don't want that, though. I don't want that, though. Well, that's fine. Okay. He doesn't know that. So you're you're telling me to act bigger than him. You're bigger than him. You're higher on the food chain. Okie dokie. So so I'm just, I'm just gonna put the phone down and I'll, and I'll do this. Okay. You've you've been helping me so much. My mom told me to suck it up. You're actually helping me. All right. Hold hold on. Okay. Hey, go away. Go away. Go away. It's right. It's kind of right near the handle where I opened the window. Should I just should I just go with it? Go with it. Spray him. Huh? Go with it. Spray him. I can't hear you, sir. You have to go with it. Just spray him. Get a headshot on him. Okie dokie. I will try that right now. Hold on. Holy! <laughs> Remember, you're higher on the food chain.